reason only, and that reason is war! I said war! Are you in love, Private? Then don't look at me, you're giving nightmares. Lights! Saustralasia, a collection of islands in the South Pacific. Reconnaissance has shown that these islands are rich in swill. <laughs> Shut up! All right, Governor. All I'm for is boat race. <laughs> They will snap like bamboo in Typhoon. Ah, yep. You asked for this. I'm absolutely fine, I think. That's the spirit. Only a couple of them left now. So, oh, a little bit of Hogs of War there. Brilliant game, brilliant game, brilliant game. Just a little bit like um, Worms, but a lot better. 3D. 3D Worms was a bit crap, but this was the original game on PS1, which. I won't say I grew up with because I was, yeah, a bit older than the most who played Playstations, but <laughs> there we go. I wasn't a kid at the time. It's probably a elderly teenager. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Okay, so this is using the emulator EPSXE and we've managed, or I've managed, to set up a game list of sorts. So what I'll do, I'll just close this one down first of all and then boot back into the program itself. What you need to do is go to File, we've got a games list. And see I've got this set up here? Absolutely lovely. Saves going into all the different folders, they're all here t together. So if you did want to set this up, the EP EPSXE, this is one of the things you could do to pull all your games together and you might have them all on different drives I suppose because all you need to do is just go into the folders don't do this yet if you're watching this video watch the rest of the, the video first before you do this all right so I've got mine saved on my G drive not a problem getting all these little um, covers cover art box art whatever you want to call it not a problem either does it automatically but you need to set the game up first of all to get it to work properly say if I went into Tetris clicked on there this is after it's scanned that folder I look for all the different games sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't but really what you need to do is set up the game first look at this it's in tiny screen mode and that's not what we want Tetris, not too bad, but it's not what you want really, is it? So, what I'll show you what to do, just press escape on here, I'm going to close this down again, open it back up. What you need to do is configure your game. That's gone off now, okay. So, if you go to your plugins, video, let's configure it first of all. So, window mode. 640 by 480, 920 by 1080. 
Oh, so we want scale to window size, keep aspect radio. So if you go full screen, then hopefully it'll save the settings there. Okay, so we've done that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit. Okay, so we just press OK on here. OK again. Go to File, Run ISO, find it. And then it is running full screen. So I'll just uh, have a quick play, make sure it's running OK. In the world, there are many ruins. This is a story about a professor and his assistant. Let's see what it looks like. There are loading screens in this. Not a very complicated game, is it? Uh, let's try a bit of classic Tetris. Classic Tetris. Turn around a square lid. Oh, okay, so it's that button. We've got the reverse button. Nope. Okay. No, I didn't want to put that there. Don't be silly. If I press escape now, back to the screen, and I'm happy with the way that that's set up, I can then go to options and then game profiles and then save profile and then press OK. I should close this down now and then open it back up because nothing's running in there now, so you can have a look, look at all the different bits and bobs. So now if we open games list, we can now just double click on Tetris now and then it will it'll load it in at those settings that we've just set for it. The way that it works is that we've got this config file here so these are the ones that are saved already the ones that are actually gone into and saved so if you look say Tetris Plus you see a code here SLUS00338 SLUS00338 so if you wanted to change the settings for that one, what I suggest you is just highlight this one, right click and then delete, and then you'll be able to go back into it as though you hadn't opened it before and change all the settings. If you just double click into it and try and change the settings, it's not going to work. If you um, change the configuration file, yeah, I'll just close this one. So it's safe, for instance, say if I, if I went to the config, change the video settings, it would automatically pull the, the settings from here so I'll delete this file first and then configure it from, from scratch so with the games themselves open games list once you've set one up you can then go into your folders and then select where you want it to look for your games because then it, it sort of configures that folder as the default once you've saved one of the configuration settings. Yeah, because if you try and run it from here it's, and it's not got one of these files, it's not going to know what settings to use. So you've got to set them up first with a configuration and then tell it where the, the folder is. And then the ones that have got configuration files, you can load from here. But the other ones you can't. 
because it'll just do it as default settings or it won't work at all but it means that you can have all different settings and configurations for each one of these games so if you've got a 2d game it's going to look a little bit different than a 3d game if you want to use all the different shaders and things so this way it sets them all up for the way that you want them to look and remembers and saves them which is brilliant i think right box art i didn't have to do anything all i did was press get covers and that was it that's all i did so if we go to covers you got all these ones here these are all the same um reference numbers that are here these codes here are to here so if i delete these i might just shut this down first actually so if i just delete all of these they've gone okay we'll leave that folder open we'll go back in here and go into open games list so there's no box art there so all i did literally was press this there we go they're all there because this is all set up with just playstation games there must be some reference in a database that this is linked to where it just pulls all the information just scrapes it all and there we are pretty good eh? so i'm gonna carry on playing hogs of war and here's all my little piggy wiggies look all going into battle you guys take care if you need any help or anything like that leave a message in the comment section i'll try and help you if i can grow i'm new to emulation as well but you stay safe have a good time and yes, sir. Thanks for watching. My name's Cal. Have a good morning, afternoon, or good evening. Okay, well, till next time, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.